Smile. Behold. Lair. Hatchery. First, there's money to be made. Click on the flashing seam of gold. Your imps will dig out the area you designate. Well done. And now your faithful servant imps will carry back your gold to Dungeon Heart. Once here, it can be spent. The golden scale atop the screen keeps track of your reserves. A start indeed. But more gold is required. 12,000 units should be mined. Observe. Red flowers float above your imps. These give measure to their health. Their skill acquired and reflects the simple thoughts within. Excellent work, Keeper. You are ready to recruit more creatures to your cause. See? A portal near your dungeon heart to where your imps must dig. They'll claim this portal to be yours. You'll see what beasts emerge. Ah, you've picked a creature up. To drop him, right-click anywhere on your land. The Lair. A place of rest where creatures sleep to calm their tempers and restore their health. The Hatchery. A place where creatures feed on favored food. The eggs will hatch and chickens then emerge to satisfy their appetites. Your Lair. Look well. Good progress, Keeper. See? Your goblins are well rested in their lair, and their bellies full with juicy chicken flesh. Now keep watch, for very soon more goblins will arrive, and then your numbers will be strong enough to challenge Lord Antonius. Your lair is built. Now right-click to cancel building mode. Your dungeon heart is full of gold. No more than 16,000 carry I see you have discovered a magical item. Away, Keeper! You shall not taint Smilesville with your evil wings! He speaks. The feeble lord. Hot lips. Well done, Keeper. Sing song. The good Lord Darien. Library. First, build a lair, and then a hatchery, then claim the portal near your dungeon heart. Training room. Claim the portal. A new species of creature has entered your dungeon. The training room is a place where fighting creatures hone their skills. A task well done, but training creatures will cost gold. Your minions need a larger training room. Your creatures will starve if you do not build them a hatchery. Your creatures make good progress. One improves his skill to level two. A creature can train as high as level four, but that's the limit. Further skill can only be attained out on the battlefield. Build your hatchery in the flashing area. The library, where warlocks wise can hone their evil craft, perfecting spells for you to cast at goodly foes. You cannot afford to build this room. Hark now, 
a warlock has arrived to study spells with. Every bookcase in your library will attract another warlock to your realm. More gold is needed. It's out there, ready to be mined. Your imps have found some dwarfs. These righteous little pests may stray onto your land, and if they do, destroy them, for that's what they deserve. Your imps will call your creatures to defend the dungeon heart. They must make sure of its protection above all other tasks. The paltry dwarfs are now destroyed. Allow your creatures time to rest and eat. When ready, guide them north to find Lord Darius's keep. It is payday. A left click on your creature picks it up. A right click on claimed land then lets it drop. Be wary though. Don't drop them too near enemies, for the dropping stuns these beasts a time and makes them vulnerable to enemy attack. A new spell has been researched. Mana is the currency of magic, and it's this you spend each time you cast a spell. Your mana level is shown in green atop the screen. Your land will gradually renew it as it's spent. Cast your new spell to create an imp. So open now the panel spells and select the imp's head symbol. Then cast it with a click on any land that's yours. The time has come for you to face Lord Darius. Tag the flashing tiles. Your imps will tunnel to his keep. Your portal is a gate for 15 creatures and no more. If removal or exchange is what's desired, then drop a creature back through where it came to make space for another one to enter your domain. A good cast keeper. You've made good use of your warlock's studious research. Imps are creatures born of magic and cost mana to sustain. You may wish to train your warlocks to improve their skills. To do this, drop a warlock in the training. A new spell has been researched. Your warlocks now have studied further, offering you another spell to cast, through which a thunderbolt is yours to hurl against such foolish enemies who dare invade your turn. Lord Darius's walls are breached. Your forces now must kill his guards and stir Lord Darius himself to come defend his land. Your Create Imp spell has been upgraded. At last, Lord Darius has been rallied. Nunchaku. I see you blasted Lord Darius. <laughs>